Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and today I have an interesting video for you. As you can see, I have the Stanley Adventure Base Camp cook set sitting here. If you haven't seen my video review on this set, please make sure you're checking the description box down below. This is a fabulous set. But in this video today, Stanley has raised the bar by releasing their new set, the Stanley Camp Pro Cook Set. This is basically a larger pot, about one liter larger, a larger frying pan. You also get a saucepan in there. So it says 18-8 stainless steel, BPA free, three ply pots and frying pan, optimized for induction cooking, locking pot and pan handles, nesting system, dishwasher safe. Stainless steel. Uh, so if they're referring to the bottom of the pots, they're, they're, they have that thick bottom just like the fry pan did on this base camp cook set. So it's, it's a layer of stainless steel with aluminum and then stainless steel. So it's really, really cool. I'm so excited to show you this. This uh, holds 4.5 liters or 4.75 quarts. So the capacity has increased. There's a look at the side of the package. Here is a look at the front of the package. And the other side of the package has a diagram telling you how everything nests together. And it gives you a breakdown of what's included. A locking bungee, a vented lid, collapsible cutting board, frying pan, which is 8.5 inches or 21.5 centimeters in diameter. Another vented lid. 18-8 stainless steel saucepan. So that saucepan is 1.9 quart or 1.8 liter. Spatula with extending handle. Spoon with extending handle. Two trivets. An 18-8 stainless steel stock pot. 4.75 quart or 4.5 liters. Now it says built for life, lifetime warranty. Now the current price point on this set at the time of me doing this review is around one hundred and forty dollars so it's kind of a steep price point for some people let me go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look and see what's in this package there we go open in the top so that's what you see in there four little triangles so I'm going to pull those guys out I don't know if it's all going to come out might have to just pull it straight up so we'll pull that straight up and get rid of the box these little triangles off and there is a first look at the pot and it looks nice looks looks considerably larger I mean just visually you can tell that it's bigger set it right next to the base camp cook set you can tell it's a little bit larger so the first thing you see there is that bungee that they talked about and that was pretty effective. You know, the one that they did on there, it was pretty nice. So you have a very nice, large, vented lid. So if you're cooking pasta or you want to drain water from ground beef or something like that, you can definitely use that. There is the diagram showing you where how things lay out in this set, how you can put it all together. So that's the lid. Next thing you see is the owner's manual. Care and use instructions and then right here is let's set that aside for a second right here is look at the Stanley logo right there it's pretty cool this is a cutting board so it's basically folds out into four pieces and it makes a fairly large cutting board it's a pretty good size you set that down you could prep your food on there like maybe uh, you, maybe you caught a big fish or something and you want to cut that baby so that's pretty cool and I like how it folds up Folds up nice and square so it'll fit in the in the kit. So that's cool. Let's come back forward with this. 
And let's dump out the fry pan. Let's take a look at this fry pan. So you can see first thing right off the bat, just like the, the previous fry pan, you can see that real thick bottom on there. So again, that's stainless steel. And then inside of that stainless steel is aluminum and then stainless steel. So that's pretty cool. Pretty nice fry pan there. You squeeze these together and they unlock and then you rotate those up and then once you get it into place you run this down and that locks the handle so you can't squeeze it here and you can't open it. It's a very nice looking fry pan. Something that I could use in my house. <laughs> it's very nice. And then inside here you have the stock pot and I'm seeing something already that I like and that's uh, on this lid. Let me open this up here. Take a look at what they did here. They have a stainless steel ring here. I don't know if I can get my finger into that. That is nice. Remember those uh, cook pots uh, where the things had those green tabs and we all complained about it and we used to put key rings on there? They fixed that and it looks like they did a fabulous job. This is also a vented lid. Very nice construction. Looks nice. Very solid. Taking another look at the pot there, same thing. Once that gets there, you can slide this down and it prevents the handles from being pressed so it locks into place there. So that's a this is a nice pot. It's heavy and it's like heavy duty heavy. Very cool. Nice flat bottom, nice thick surface here. This is to help dissipate the heat out evenly on the pan. I don't see any graduation markers inside. I'm looking. I was hoping that I could see like some graduation markers, but I don't see that. And the pot uh, has the lid that fits it. Very nice. Stanley did a good job there. Now let's take a look at uh, some of the accessories that come with it. Inside here you have two trivets. These are nice. And these can be used as like pot holders because this pot can get very hot so you could use these, these trivets to carry around your pot full of hot stuff. So that's pretty cool. And then right here, let's see what we got here. Right now we have, I'm guessing this is the spoon and the spatula. Okay, so let's take a look here. Slide release buckles, how does this work? Slide release buckles, boom, right there just like that and that's a nice spatula very nice looking whole different design it's a slide release buckle it's a new type pretty solid so you got one there and then you have a spoon right there very nice those feel pretty pretty solid I think that's a Pretty good upgrade. I like that the that they have the, the Stanley logos on them right here. And then they have these big loops so you can hook them on something. Very nice. So now let's take a look at the main pot. Uh, I noticed that there are graduation markers inside. So you have a mark for one liter. And I'm guessing this line is two liters. And then right here is three liters. This pot is thick. It feels a lot thicker than the base camp cook set. And then, of course, you got that quarter inch uh, three ply design down here that helps keep things distributing heat well. And it says right here 4.75 quarts or 4.5 liters. Now, what was the last one? Does it say? Well, it's kind of dirty, so I don't think I'm going to be able to see it. But this pot, it would almost fit inside. Look at that. That's pretty crazy. It's it's bigger. Definitely bigger than the base camp cook set by, by quite a bit. Quite, quite a bit larger. Which is nice because it's going to be able to distribute uh, heat. It's going to be able to distribute the weight. You can use this over fire. You can use this over your stove top. I just think that uh, this is a, a very impressive kit. I think they've done a good job. I really like this saucepan too. What's the capacity on this once again? Uh, 1.9 quart or 1.8 liter. So that's a, that's a good size. You can put a ground, uh, whole pound of ground beef in there. 
Now this lid will not fit this fry pan. You have to use the main lid and it's got an inner portion right here that will ride very nice on the fry pan. See that? So you have a nice lid that you can use for the fry pan as well as the main pot itself. This lid is only for this saucepan. I don't know why they call it a saucepan. That's a pot. But the construction on these is fabulous. Very, very nice. I love what they did with this lid. Very nice. So now uh, let's figure out how we got to put this back together. So we're going to look at the diagram. It says put two trivets down. One, two. There's two trivets. Now we're going to put the pot in. So we're going to slide that out. We're going to, so we're going to break these guys down. One, two. They fit in there very nice. There's no bowls, there's no forks, no sporks, nothing like that with this kit. It is just based on cooking, which is pretty cool. So put that there. Then you take what is next. You got the main pot, two trivets, the pot, the two handles, the, the spoon, and the spatula. And then we put the lid. Then the frying pan goes face down. So again, let's pull that away. Oops. There we go. Just like that, face down. Kind of jiggle it to get it, to get it to fit right. There we go. And then after that, we're going to put our cutting board. And then, last but not least, our lid. I'm going to add something to it. I'm going to add a small rag so that when I'm cooking, I have something to clean. And then, of course, you hook that around there like that, hook this around here like this, and then get these gray things on each side. And that's how that baby stows, just like the base camp cook set. Very nice. Looks like I did something wrong here. Let's see what did I do here? Now we're talking. There we go. So that's how that sets there. So please, I want to say thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below. Like this video. Share this video. Also, in the future, I will do a comparison of both of these against each other. Uh, showing you, like, does this lid fit anything over here, vice versa, does the pot fit in here, all that kind of stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is brand new. Uh, again, this is the Stanley Adventure Camp Pro Cook Set with even heating. It's a lot heavier. It seems heavier duty than the Base Camp Cook Set. Uh, I really like it. The Base Camp Cook Set has served me well. I've never had a lick of problems with it. It's, it pretty much stays in my vehicle, so whenever I go out somewhere, I have it with me. I gave one of these to my parents. They put it in their RV, and they loved it. So with all that being said, folks, once again, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.